What's going on gardeners? It's Saturday, September 24th, and it is a gorgeous early fall day here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. Today, I'm going to share with all of you my secret weapon for having a healthy, productive garden that never fails. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated. But before I begin, if you're interested in these exact products, they are all linked down in my Amazon storefront in the video description under the list soluble fertilizers. So simply expand the video description, click on the Amazon storefront link and you'll find them there under the list for an easy place to find them. If you've been following my channel, you know that anytime I have a video on how to fertilize a plant, it is never complete without one of these granulated organic fertilizers. And these granulated organic fertilizers are phenomenal because they are made out of whole animal parts and meals. So they contain virtually every organic compound and micronutrient under the sun. Now the way these granulated organic fertilizers work is you put them down on top of your soil and you mix them in, you scratch them into the surface, and then they slowly are decomposed by the native bacteria and fungi and worms and other little tiny bugs in the soil. So as they are right now in this form, they are not bioavailable to your plants. They are inert. They have to be consumed by the soil life in order to become bioavailable for your plants. So while these fertilizers are fantastic for building healthy soil over time, if your plants are suffering right now and they're yellowing and they need some fertilizer, these fertilizers will not help you right away. You have to wait. So suffering plants can't really get any kind of benefit right away from these fertilizers. Then on the other hand, you have these fast acting water soluble fertilizers like miracle Grow and other similar products. These are soluble in water and when you water your plants with the fertilizers, they are immediately bioavailable to the plants. So if you have a suffering yellowing plant, these fertilizers can help fix that problem. However, there are three main downsides to these types of fertilizers. Number one, because they are man created in a lab, the nutrients inside the fertilizers are only what humans have thought to put inside of them. They are not nutritionally complete like an organic product that's made out of whole animal parts because they contain decomposing parts of all the animals and basically every compound under the sun, whereas you're just simply limited to whatever they put on the back of the label with this product. The second downside to this product is while the organic granulated types of fertilizers feed your soil and make it healthier over time, these add no benefit to the actual soil itself. It's really only useful to the plants. The worms and the bacteria and the fungi can't really eat this. And while when used as directed, it is not harmful to your soil, it is not beneficial and it will not help build stronger, healthier soil over time. And the third issue with these types of fertilizers is they leave salts behind as a byproduct of use. Now, when you live in a wet climate like most of the United States is and you get plenty of rain, it's not really a problem when used as directed because the rainfall is constantly flushing out your soil, so you won't get any salts that accumulate. But if you live in a very arid region, or you grow inside a greenhouse or a hoop house that sees basically no rainfall and erosion and your soil never gets washed out, and you overuse these products, the salts can build up over time and negatively impact your soil. So if you live in a place that rains a lot, it's not really an issue. But for growers where the soil medium never really gets flushed out, these can be problematic over time. But what if there was a fertilizer product out there that had had the best of both worlds that was immediately bioavailable to help suffering plants and also fed your soil and made stronger, healthier soil in the long run. That is where fish fertilizer comes in, also known as fish emulsion. Fish emulsion is by far my favorite fertilizer on the face of the earth. It has incredible benefits and I use it on pretty much everything I plant from my vegetable gardens to my perennial fruit trees and my ornamentals. It is absolutely incredible and here's why. Fish fertilizer is an emulsion made up of diluted fish products. So that includes fish carcasses, bones, scales, skin, and other byproducts from the fishing industry. So because it is made out of diluted fish products, it essentially contains every organic compound and nutrient under the sun because they are using the entire animal to make this product. 
So because this is a whole food product similar to the granulated organic fertilizer, this is great for your soil and will feed your soil microbiome and the worms and the good critters in the soil at the same time. However, this product has a massive advantage over the granulated organic types of fertilizers. While those granulated types are not immediately bioavailable, these fish products have been ground into a paste of sorts, and they have been sitting around and fermenting for long periods of time. So all of the natural bacteria and fungi in the fermentation process has been breaking down this fish emulsion. So when you use it on your plants, it is immediately bioavailable. You do not have to wait. Fish fertilizer has an NPK ratio of 511. That's 5% nitrogen, 1% phosphorus, and 1% potassium. Because this is a pre-fermented product, of the 5% nitrogen, 4.25% is immediately bioavailable, and only 0.75% has not been fully processed and will take a little while to break down. So this product truly is the best of both worlds. It is immediate and fast acting, and it is great for your soil microbiome. It is completely organic, and like it says on the label, it will not burn your plants when used as directed. Now, I use this all throughout the year for gardening, and I swear by this in almost every facet of gardening. I love using it at transplant because I swear it reduces or eliminates transplant shock. And that doesn't matter if you're transplanting your annual vegetables or if you're transplanting fruit trees. I always use this stuff, and I always use it periodically throughout the year, every two weeks or so on my annual vegetable garden, and when I fertilize my fruit trees usually every single season. It is fantastic stuff. Now it also is readily available. Like I said, I have several different brands linked in my Amazon storefront and I have several different brands linked because uh, stock sometimes goes in and out. If you don't want to purchase it off of Amazon, you can get this stuff throughout the year at places like Home Depot and Lowe's and seasonally at Walmart. It's about the same price in store and online. So if you wanna order it online, it's a little more convenient, but you can also pick it up while you're in the big box stores. Using fish fertilizer couldn't be any easier. There's a table on the back that shows you the concentration that you should use when diluting in water, but it's anywhere from one to four tablespoons per gallon, depending on what you're fertilizing. And I usually just put a big healthy glug of it, which is probably two to three tablespoons in my watering can. So all you have to do is shake it up, pour that little glug in, which is probably about two to three tablespoons, and then fill up your watering can with water and make sure that you stir it very well and then you simply apply it right at the base of the plants and in case you're wondering yes you can also use this as a very effective foliar feed however there is one potential downside to using fish emulsion and that is the odor it has a very strong scent of fermenting fish and for that reason some gardeners can't or won't use it because they either don't personally tolerate the smell or they're in an unfenced situation and they're concerned that this product will attract animals into their garden now i've been using it for many years flawlessly with no problems ever however i can understand these problems that may preclude its use that being said, there is a solution for you as well, and that is liquid seaweed or kelp fertilizer. This is also a water-soluble product loaded with trace micronutrients made out of kelp that is immediately bioavailable to your plants and is practically odor-free. This is not going to attract any kind of animals to your garden. You can even use this on an indoor garden because of the very low odor. So this is the ultimate solution for those of us who can't use fish emulsion because of either attracting pests, a lack of tolerating the scent itself, or you have an indoor garden and you can't have that stinky fish smell inside your house. This kelp fertilizer is perfect for my rain barrel drip irrigation setup. I like to mix my soluble fertilizers inside this rain barrel and then use drip irrigation tubing that runs from it to all of the beds in my garden so I could easily fertilize using only gravity and free rainwater. However, the problem is these barrels do not empty out 100% because the spout is higher than the bottom of the barrel. So I can't put fish fertilizer in this because it'll leave a few inches behind and it will stink and rot in here. So this kelp is just perfect because I can mix this in and then pump this out to all of my raised garden beds and my container gardens. Now it is worth mentioning that this liquid seaweed product is not a very strong fertilizer. Whereas the fish emulsion has an NPK of 511, this has an NPK of 0 0.3, 0 0.21. 
so it isn't really a strong fertilizer in and of itself. This is best used as a supplement to deliver all types of trace micronutrients to your plants. So if you use a product like miracle Grow or Jax 202020, this is a fantastic additive to add in all the good stuff that they didn't add in on those factory type of synthesized fertilizers. Or if you're a strictly organic gardener and you only use the 555 types of granulated organic fertilizers like I showed you in the beginning of this video, you can use this as a foliar feed or as a supplemental soluble fertilizer to really take your plants to the next level. So whether you're growing a big garden, a small garden, a container garden, an indoor garden, or any combination in between, give these products a try. I think you will be absolutely blown away by the results. So everybody, I sure hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you're notified when we release more videos like these. Again, if you're curious about the products that I used in this video, or any of the products that I use in my garden in general, they are all linked down below in the Amazon store front in the video description if you want these exact products. I have multiple different brands linked just in case any of them go out of stock. And while you're in the video description, check out my spread shop for custom merch if you want to support the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see all of you again on the next video. Dale, what are you doing? Are you destroying your brand new Kong? Are you ripping it to pieces? Look what you're doing. You are just surgically shredding it. Buddy, Every time we get you one of these, it only lasts a few days. Come on, let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, Dale wants it. Oh, that's cheating. You're not allowed to use your paws. Oh, boy. Dale, you're like a doctor. You were just surgically inserting a slice into this Kong, and you're ripping out all the stuffing. Oh, you're brutal, buddy. You're brutal.